Welcome to Norton Headley. Don't expect too much. This town has weird shit like a dog has fleas. But you could live here all your life and never see anything out the ordinary. Tons of tourists pass through every summer, and the most exciting thing they ever encounter is the cream tea. Are you always this talkative? Sorry. Being around two underground legends makes me nervous. Two legends? You earned it. So, what do you think? Is Norton Headley everything you thought it would be? Not really. Everything's so... normal. Told you. All that weird stuff is just stories. Trust me, I've been in and out of this dump visiting friends my whole life. So you're not armed? Well, of course I'm armed. I'm black air. Why'd you ask? Just a feeling. And you should always respect the feelings of a legendary field agent like Ishmael. I could put in a request to my superiors, ask for reinforcements. Of course, they'd want to know why. I don't think any amount of armed men would make much difference. Okay, starting to feel seriously spooked now. Good. It might keep you alive. Lucy smiled determinedly and plunged into the maze of narrow streets like a native guide on safari. Alert for any sense of danger or anything worth pointing at. Penny and I wandered along behind her, taking our time. It all seemed pleasant enough. Ivy-covered cottages, rose gardens, Tudor frontages and lozenged windows, and even a few bricked-up windows on the larger buildings from the days when windows were taxed. The few shops were all tourist traps, small family businesses selling overpriced gifts and tacky mementos along with tiny tea rooms and restaurants with handwritten menus in their windows. Most of them had closed signs, with no indication that they had any intention of reopening until there were new tourists to fleece. It was a breath of old England, picture postcard perfect, and therefore not quite real. Norton Headley seemed to me more and more someone's idea of what a small country town ought to be rather than the real thing. Penny leaned in close. Why are you frowning? It feels like this town hasn't changed much in ages. I'm not seeing any modern buildings or franchises. These streets probably look much the same 50 years ago, or even a hundred. You think someone preserved the town this way? Why would they want to do that? I don't know. But I keep coming back to my suspicion that the ship didn't crash here by accident. That just possibly it was shot down because it was coming here. 